Hey guys, Milesy here, back again with another Steam Deck video for you. And if you like this content, remember to hit that like button, that thumbs up button, if you really like it. If you don't, hit the thumbs down button because it's all good. It all recommends me in the algorithm for YouTube and it helps greatly. Now today we are talking about Operation Door Step, or Operation Harsh Door Step even, my apologies. Uh, this is a new game, um, so I haven't launched this before. So I have no idea if it's going to work. It's not supported. It's not compatible. It's got that question mark, as you can see here. Uh, so we're going to check it out and see how this runs. Now, all I know is that this is like built as an alternative Call of Duty and alternative FPS online game with a single player as well. And from what I read, people were sick of all the microtransactions and all the monetization, and they wanted to build just a straight up decent shooter. And this is what this game is. So we're going to check it out and see if it works on the Steam Deck. This could be a short video. This might be okay. We'll, we'll find out. So we're starting the launch here. It seems to be launching. Sorry about the dust. And I do live in a home with a cat. So there is the odd cat hair that gets astray. Right. Okay, so we've got the main menu, and we have sound. There we go. Okay, so single player, multiplayer. Let's let's go test multiplayer because that's going to be a good test to see if we can connect to a server. So you've got these basic filters. So we've got uh, servers that aren't full. We obviously want that. Not password locked. That's good. Okay, and then we've got the servers here. Let's just go for the top one. And let's see if we can get in. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the performance overlay. Oh, we're in the game. We're holding it sort of 35, 30 to 35, dipping down a little bit. Let's see. Choose a spawn, I guess. Aha, here we go. Oh, it's dark. It's really dark. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure you'll be able to. It's nighttime in the game, so that's not ideal for filming purposes, obviously. Let's see if we can get into the light a little bit. Oh, got someone ran past. Now the controls... It's a little bit stuttery, but I think it's the game more so than the actual performance. Although we all know we've dropped down to like 16 frames per second. No, this is not running great. Let's try a different server. Hopefully we can get one that's not in the dark. Okay, let's choose this one down here. Not a great start. Now it's kicked us back into the main menu. I've only really just realized. All right, we're going to try one more server. And it's night time too. I guess it's real time, maybe. But the frame rate's holding up a little bit better in this one. We're at 47, 46, 44, 45, 47, 46. So it's holding just under 50 frames per second. Oh, we've dipped right down. Now we've gone back up. So it is quite sporadic in terms of frames per second. Definitely something you can't play really competitively. Okay, they're good, guys. That's weird. It doesn't really tell you. Oh, there is a slight blue marker, but it's really hard to see. Okay, I think I killed one, maybe. That crackling is a bit weird. I can't tell if it's meant to be there. I mean, the noise is not great. The sound from the shooting is annoying. And it's not the best. Let's try multiplayer again. I really want like a daytime thing. That'd be that'd be nice. Aha, there we go. That's more like it. 
I can see what I'm doing. So the frame rate's not great. 28, 29, 27. And we're not capped. So... Let's see what we got in the options here. Video. Display mode. Uh, gamma. Smooth frame rate. Frame rate limit off. Field of view. Motion blur. Overall quality. Let's take that down from Epic. Let's just see... I've taken it down to high. No, I don't want to quit. Hasn't really improved the frame rate. It feels very clunky. I always thought Warzone was clunky. This is is a lot more clunky and the jump doesn't always seem to work don't know if it's like an energy thing but that's kind of whimsical The lack of like mini map or sort of sense of direction is not great. It's drained my battery big time. Let's see if we can get at least a kill in. God, the aim is not good. Better with the trackpad. Much better with the trackpad. Uh, he was a good guy. Oops. Sensitivity definitely needs to be updated. Is that a tank? And I died. <laughs> well, that's that, guys. It doesn't run great. I mean... It's okay if you're just sat on the sofa, I don't know, and you just fancy playing it. Like you, but the difficulty is the the frame rate. Controls aren't great; they're very clunky. I'm not even sure this is a great game. Uh, I need to play this on PC and kind of do a comparison. But uh, let me know your experiences of Operation Harsh Doorstep, guys, um, and hopefully it improves over time because it's a new game and it's free to play as well. So it was worth checking out, guys. Hope you liked it. Drop me a subscribe if you're new. I'll see you with the next one. Happy decking.